What's going on you guys? This is a uh, Max KDI. I have another Dell Optiplex 7020. This is the small form factor. Upgrading of hard drive, video, memory and actually optical drive. So let me go ahead and remove the side cover panel. Uh, I did a separate video for the Optiplex mini tower, the 7020. You guys can watch my look my channel for the other video for the Optiplex 7020 for the mini tower. This is bigger. And you can see the video, I did a separate video on that. So first we're going to remove the, the optical driver here, disconnect the SATA and power. So by plastic clip. Now, you're going to remove the, here's the hard drive cage here and the caddy. So we're going to, there's a secure clip right here. Press it to the left. And disconnect the SATA and power. Remove the hard drive and disconnect the KD and really easy to press it and it comes right out like this. And disconnect the hard drive really easy. It's a plastic caddy and it bends. And it comes right out. Just like that. Now we're gonna upgrade the memory, same time. I'm going to be using a DDR3 1600 9 ECC on buffer memory and I recommend you guys go with uh, either Carsair, Kingston and Crucial, those are the top three brands again. Kingston, Carsair or Crucial, those are the top three brands I like. 9 ECC on buffer memory, 16, DDR3 1600. So I'm going to be installing total 8 gigs. and. When you install the memory, you will hear uh, two clicks, that means install properly. And this model, this machine supports up to 8 gigs per each slot, so you can go as maximum as a uh, total 32 gigs. But I'm actually only installing 8 gigs, so 4 gig per each slot. The Y, you see the memory Y ones right here, does a channel A. So it will show us by the number one right here and number two. So that's a dual channel. That's that's for, you're gonna install first stick is gonna be right here, the second stick is gonna be right there, the third stick will be all in the left, and the fourth stick will be the last right here, the black one. Shows the numbers here in the top. So I installed the memory DDR3 1600, 9 ECC and buffer memory. Now I will upgrade the video card. Since the power supply in here, guys, is only let's see 240 watt. And no, actually, it's uh, let me look at it closer. It's actually 255 watts. You guys probably can't see it. it's 255 watt, so you can only go low profile. Any high end video card for gaming, I don't recommend because it will overload the power supply. Go with the mini tower 7020 Optiplex. This is still power supply, is really small, not for gaming, but uh, I'll be upgrading to AMD Radeon HD 7570. This again, AMD Radeon HD 7570, low profile video card, 255 watt, perfectly fine without any problems. And you can play some games on this video card, but not all the games. Now, I just can't tell you what exact which game, because I usually don't know my gaming, but uh, you can play some video games with this video card, with the 7570, this is a low profile video card. So let me go install it. You can install it through the blue or PCI. Express PC Express X16 slot right here, the blue one, blue slot right there. We're gonna install it. Remove the PCI bracket right here and install the video card. Really easy and put the clip clip back on here. Secure lock. Remove the PCI bracket. Now we're gonna we installed a uh, we installed a new hard drive, so I'm installing the Western Digital 500 gig. You can go with the Seagate uh, Western Digital, pretty good. Oh, I recommend going to Solar State Drive. That's gonna be a lot better. Runs a lot cooler, a lot faster. But it costs more actually. But I just I do recommend go with the Solar State Drive. So let me show you guys how to do that. So here's the hard drive. New hard drive and you're gonna install it right back really easy like that. Clips on. And just like that, really easy. And we install do the hard drive cage right here. Just like that. 
comes clips right in, secure locks. And we're going to reinstall it right back. And move the camera a little bit closer, you guys can see. Connect the SATA cable, the power. And there's a secure clip right here, you gotta press it to the right. Now, I have another optical drive right here, they're both the same, but if you buy online, they usually come without a plastic clip like this, so you just remove the plastic clip right here, it's really easy without any screws, and it comes right out, just like that. And it's really easy. Clips right back in really easy, so you can install optical drive. So I'm going to reinstall it. And connect the stadium power. Really easy, that's what I like about the Optiplex. Yeah, those are designed, there's like a business class machines and uh, run really quiet. So you guys, uh, we upgraded the optical drive, memory hard drive and a video card. This is for the Dell Optiplex 7020 small phone factor. And just reinstalled the side cover panel. So yeah guys, uh, this is uh, this is NXKDI here. Thanks for watching. Bye.